Hey, what's up, Flitz fans? It's Graham here from Team Flitz. Today we got a little something special for you. I got Tom, who's an avid Zippo collector with me today, and he loves the Flitz polish. He's gonna tell you a little bit about it as well. Um, since I'm new to the whole Zippo thing, I didn't know all about the history and things about it, so I, I did a little research, and I saw it start off in 1930. Is, is that pretty much when it's... Yeah, 1934 he started it. Okay. Yeah. With uh, just a few oddball products, he liked the name Zipper, so he named them Zippo. Oh. The other thing I noticed um, when I was doing my research was they have a lifetime warranty. So, like, you just send it in, they replace it, or, or uh, they charge you anything, or how's that work? No, you just send it in to uh, in uh, Pennsylvania, in Bradford, Pennsylvania, and they have a, a repair clinic down there, and they refurbish your whole lighter and send it back free of charge. And their motto is not a penny cent. Wow, that, that's amazing. After, Spent, yeah. After every, all that time, yeah. too. Uh, so I don't, like I said, you're a collector. How many of these Zippo lighters do you have in your collection? Well, lighters alone, about 300. Uh, Zippo products, a lot more. The count, I hard to say, close to 400. Wow. And I know you were mentioning to me, and you brought some examples here, that I just know Zippo from Zippo lighters. I didn't know they made so many other things. Right. They did. They made uh, cutabout knives. They made pocket knives with a nail file. They made golf balls, pens, letter openers, rulers, uh, uh, all, all different types of things. Uh, shirts, hats, and just like anybody else, you know. Now, for your collection, what do you what do you think? Say, just the lighters alone. What do you what do you think you got them worth? In worth, just in lighters. I don't want to say so. My wife doesn't sell them for more <laughs> than I paid for them, <laughs> or less than I paid for them. Well, we'll yeah, yeah. Um, I know from looking online, there was a lot of different lighters that are out there. Is there one that's like the holy grail to you that you've been? Yeah. wanting to get and just haven't got it yet? Yes, there's there's a couple out there and looking, trying to find them and searching on eBay and with other collectors, there's there's one I really would like to have in my collection and uh, uh, I'm sure I'll find it someday. And, and I don't know if you want your wife to know, but what would that be worth around? Price-wise? To me, priceless. Uh, Price-wise, two hundred. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We we'll, we'll edit that part. We won't show his wife this that, that <laughs> yeah. part. So, um, Shh. <laughs> I, I, I know you mentioned like clubs. There's some collector clubs and things that are out there. Yes, there's there's one here that we've got displayed here, Zippo Addicts, and uh, that's one of the first clubs that I actually belong to. Uh, there's uh, over uh, 6,000 members uh, worldwide, and I belong to a bunch of other clubs too uh, that are still forming today, new clubs, eh, almost monthly. Now, when we talked about Flitz in the past, I know you're a big Flitz fan, yep. and uh, we got the Flitz polish over here, which you're familiar with, and obviously you've, you've used the product in the past. so. Instead of me talking about it this time, can you give us a little demo and show it how it works and how you use our product? Sure. I have a, an everyday carrier, what we call, is, is because I am a smoker, and, and they naturally get pretty dirty. And I just usually take everything apart, use my Flitz polish here, and I put a little bit on the toothbrush. And I just rub this in, let it sit for a little bit. And you can see it's already cleaning, taking everything off, shining it all up. And then we take it and wipe her off. And it's like brand spanking new. It's this is a everyday carrier, so I use it every day. So naturally, there's going to be scrape in the chrome, but you can tell. Look at the difference, and it cleans them up very well. 
and it also leaves a nice film on there. That's, that's awesome, looks great. I know you had another one that you showed me that you just recently did. Right. Um, 100%. That's this one here. This one here is from Milwaukee Federal Savings. Uh, this is from the 1960s, and I had just cleaned this one up, and it's, it looks like it's almost brand new. I mean, for 1960, it's in really good shape and very clean, and it was way worse than this one when I got it, received it. The inside is actually beautiful, very nice. And I know when you were talking about that protection before, um, we were talking about if you, you know, got had sweaty hands, you get a little water or whatever on it. Can you just show with a little bit of that water how, how it protects it? Oh, certainly, it? certainly. Let's see here. Put that water right on and it just beads right off. That's, that's awesome. One of the things I don't know if you knew about um, that Flitz has come out uh, with not too long ago is a product called the ceramic sealant. Oh, nice. And this product will seal and protect your finishes for up to a year. Um, in your case, as a collector, some of the stuff will even last longer than that. And I know when we were talking before we started filming, you were telling me about all the different you know, styles of lighters and, and things that they made. And you know, painted surfaces, flat finishes. The great thing with this product is you can use it on all of it. This product will seal and protect. It will not change the finish at all. And it will give you a protection again for like up to a year. So if you don't that mind, would, can, I, can I try one of these? Yeah, on a, matte, on a matte, those are matte finish lighters with the Zippo logo on it. Those are, are brand new. And like our Flitz Polish, you wouldn't want to put it on a finish like this because obviously it's a matte finish. It's not going to gloss it or shine it. Um, you want to really protect it. So just take this, spray a little bit right on the area, take your Flitz microfiber cloth, just buff it in real light, and buff it right on off. Now, I've only done one side of this. Since Tom's new to this, I'm going to let him take a look and see what he thinks, because he's the avid collector, not me. I've never seen this before. That's, that's really cool. Boy, it, it leaves a really nice surface on there, and... You were saying that this is heat resistant. It is heat resistant. So like your everyday carry that you use, you can put it on, it's not gonna burn or melt itself off. The other thing is, if you have a collectible item that's got a patina finish that you love just the way it is, you can use it right on there. It will not change it. So if you got a painted surface such as this, excellent on that. Again, any of your matte finishes, but if you do have a bright shiny finish, you can use it on that too. It'll seal and protect it for you. That's pretty good. I like that. So, a um, little bit of info for you guys with the Flitz products. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by, Tom, and uh, yeah, I appreciate tell being us here. a little bit about everything. And uh, I hope you guys like what you see. Stay tuned for uh, more Flitz episodes coming down the road. Thanks so much. Flame on. Flitz it.